Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. As some of you know, I took a little break for a few days, went away, I uh, went to Cape Town. For those of you who know the city, it is a very lovely city, the mother city, as we call it here in South Africa. I had a fabulous time, but I'm back now, back at the tarot table, back with the Bosch Tarot. Uh, the Bosch Tarot is a fairly new deck that I'm using on this channel. It's a shadow deck, of course, and I'm using it because we're dealing with some tricky topics today. And of course, uh, very lovely photos were released over the weekend while I was away. Beautiful photos of Catherine at 40. Absolutely fabulous photos. And lots of very interesting newspaper articles written about her as she reached that milestone and really has seemed to become as one journalist wrote the crown jewel uh, for the royals and uh, interesting tidbits in some of the articles and the one that i'm going to be looking at now is an in an article written by camilla tumini who writes in the daily telegraph and she said that a source close to Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, says, and when it says a source close to Camilla, you know it's been an authorised comment, it's not hearsay, it's not one of those allegedlies. But anyway, the source said that even though Buckingham Palace, which is the Queen, uh, says that Harry and Meghan are much loved members of the family, still much loved members of the family, Camilla will struggle to move on from the hurt that Harry and Meghan have inflicted on her and on Prince Charles by things like the Oprah interview. But of course, many more than just the Oprah interview. So it seems that Camilla is not likely to forgive Harry for, in particular, for the hurt that he has caused. And of course, uh, interesting timing for this uh, comment, this article because the book is coming out and it allegedly will really be targeting the Duchess of Cornwall, very particularly Charles and Camilla, and blaming them for many of Prince Harry's woes, if not all of his woes. So I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross using the, one more shuffle, the Bosch Tarot and I'm going to be looking at the situation from Camilla's point of view. I did a reading on her a few months ago. She was very unhappy and who can blame her? Uh, apparently she and Harry had a really good relationship um, in, in the early days and I have split the deck in a way that I don't normally split the deck and that just happened so I'm going with it, going and seeing what the uh, cards want to tell us. That was quite interesting um, because I usually split the deck very differently. So uh, I go with my intuition, I go with what happens as best I can uh, on this channel and I uh, let universe speak as best I can let universe speak. So underlying energy of this reading is the King of Pentacles. Uh, in the Bosch Tarot, it's the, the leadership quality, stability, loyalty, um, the, the good husband, stable, stable family energy, stable leadership energy, stable boss energy, um, even tempered, kind energy, generous energy. And uh, I don't think that that's Prince Harry not for one second. I think that that is Prince Charles and that is how Camilla wants Prince Charles to be seen and to feel. She is obviously having to expend a lot of energy to keep his um, his morale up to keep him supported to stabilize him he obviously has been very upset by the the mud slung at him and uh, very upset very hurt um, he's a very sensitive man a water sign man they're both water signs she's of course a cancerian he's a scorpio she just wants a husband who's happy who's uh, not um, having to come home um, we're very angry, very upset, very wounded, very hurt and of course with his reputation also being damaged out in the public he is the heir in waiting and uh, it's very important that he is stable and that he is perceived in a positive light so I think that that is what that 
<clears throat> excuse me, underlying energy is about. It's a very windy day today here where I am. There's a lot of dust blowing about. Uh, there are wildfires burning, raging around us at the moment. A lot of smoke in the air. If I have to stop every now and then and have a cough, that is the reason. Nothing more sinister than that, although the wildfires are very unpleasant. Uh, it's seasonal. It happens at this time of year. Heart of the matter for Camilla is the King of Swords in reverse that is all that ugliness that's been going on um, it's that aggressive energy and when the king of swords is in the reverse it is a very cutting uh, it can be very cruel uh, vicious uh, it can tell things that are less than true for instance the 17 untruths on the oprah in interview there's been lots of lies there's been lots of nasty things said uh, very difficult things there's been a lot of accusations flying there's been a lot of cutting away and cutting out and eliminating and separating and distancing and that all is in that energy of the king of swords in reverse it's an ugly energy very ugly energy very difficult for her to deal with and uh, the king of swords also to me indicates the book and i'm going to be asking very specifically uh, a card on the book but the king of swords for me often is a publisher card and it's a publisher card in reverse a nasty nasty publication coming and her challenge her difficulty at the moment what crossing that card is the hanged man and that is the sacrifice the martyr card the limbo energy dangling in space helplessly dangling at the mercy of everyone else around you unable to act unable to do anything uh, she feels that she can't retaliate she can't do anything to defend herself she's just literally waiting she's winding the clock down until the day that that book drops and all hell breaks loose in her life yet again because it's almost guaranteed that all hell is going to break loose in her life when that book uh, sees the light of day assuming it does see the light of day so it's a very difficult energy it's a very difficult card uh, particularly in a challenged position because you do feel helpless you do feel martyred and victimized and uh, that's certainly how she feels and probably also how prince charles feels so uh, she's she is not a happy woman you very clear from the cards at the heart of this reading and very clear obviously from that article in the telegraph so what's going on behind the scenes right now with camilla and harry and megan and all of that and we get the two of cups in reverse chalices in this uh, in this deck it's called the two of cups in reverse and that is a very interesting card because it's the breakup card uh, it's a separation of a partnership. It's not her and Prince Charles. I wouldn't say that at all. Although it can indicate that behind the scenes their relationship is in a bit of trouble. I doubt very much that at this time in their life, this point in their life, after all that they've gone through, that they're literally going to break up. Certainly don't uh, see that in that card. It can be that they're just unhappy. The couple is going through difficulties, of course, uh, because of all this hurt, all this um, uh, recrimination and all this nastiness that has been unleashed. However much uh, Prince Charles himself seemingly was in favour of the relationship between Harry and Meghan, supported it, walked Meghan down the aisle, supported them when they left the royal family, so abruptly uh, bailed them out seemingly to the tune of millions in the early days. But it does seem to have put some strain on their relationship. Uh, and that's the first reading that I get from that but it can also be that there is strain in other relationships and particularly in the Harry and Meghan relationship and it could be that Camilla has some awareness of that some knowledge of that going on behind the scenes it's certainly showing up in readings that I have done recently that their relationship seems to be in difficulty Harry and Meghan uh, but lots of lots of um, difficult lots of tension lots of upset when the two of cups is in reverse it's a very uh, unhappy energy uh, between people whatever their kind of relationship so it could even be that uh, it's between her and Harry it doesn't have to be a lover kind of a relationship it can be a business partnership it can be a stepmother and a stepson falling out and falling out uh, for two people who once got on it's very painful when you get the two of cups in reverse it's hurt a lot of hurt there so all of those are possible what is her focus right now um, as the story uh, winds on and that's the four of pentacles and that's that uh, four of pentacles in reverse for people who are listening and not watching um, 
Four of Pentacles in reverse is the card of being destabilized. Um, fours are always about stability, secure foundations, and structures, things like that. But when the Four of Pentacles is in reverse, that structure, it can be the royal family, it can be the marriage, it can be um, Princess, Prince Charles' relationship with his children, with Prince Harry, any of those things is destabilized. But it is also um, more specifically than that, the Four of Pentacles is a card of letting go of something. Uh, when, when it's in the upright, you're hanging on for dear life to your pentacles. You're quite blocked. You're quite uh, mean and not greedy, but just um, very, very self, self-protective uh, when it comes to your assets, to the things that you value and the things that you feel you need to hang on to for dear life. But she's letting go of something. She's feeling that she's letting go of something. She could be letting go of all kinds of things, could be letting go of um, future ideas of how her life might be going. Um, of course, a big life change is coming up for her in the probably uh, quite near future, relatively. And uh, But also letting go, maybe letting go of an idea of someone else, uh, letting go of an idea of her stepson of Prince Harry. So very difficult energies that she's going through. In the past, and of course the past we mean Oprah and all of those things, there is the conflict showing up, the Five of Wands. Uh, it's a struggle card, it's the conflict in a group, in a family, infighting, nastiness, people scrambling, uh, clambering over each other, over that pile of bodies to get to the top, climb up the ladder, uh, stamping on the toes of people who might be uh, following you up the ladder. And there's been a lot of that, there's been a lot of that kind of energy in the royal family since Meghan Markle showed up, a lot of competition, a lot of aggression, a lot of jostling for position, a lot of ugliness has entered with that competitive energy and it's showing up there. A lot of blaming and arguing and fighting, uh, very ugly energy again. So the uh, very interesting card in this reading from my point of view is the one coming up now, the future energy. And I have specifically earmarked that card uh, for the book, Harry's book. How is that going to affect Camilla and her view of um, Prince Harry? And it's a choice card, and it's not a bad card, the Two of Pentacles. It's not a bad card at all, actually, and interestingly, um, because it's a card about compromising and negotiating and looking at things and where do you put your energy? How do you respond to things? Where do you, uh, which choice do you make? Which thing do you prioritize? And uh, how do you balance things and juggle things and keep things, keep keep all those balls up in the air? Where do you, where do you put your energy really? And so it really looks as if it's up to her after all of that, uh, what I've just said, um, it's up to her, it's going to be up to her how she responds to it, seemingly. It does not look as if it's going to do her as much damage as one might expect, possibly because the damage has already done, been done. She's braced, she knows, she's been accused of um, ruining Harry's life already, basically, in um, the past couple of years and all that he's said. Um, and it looks as if she's braced for that. She, she's been through the hurt of it. There is the hurt, the two of cups in reverse. That is the hurt that is behind the scenes that she's feeling in her own self and that she's not going to go out and show when she uh, goes out in public. And even in this, this comment that was released to Camilla Tumini, it was that she will struggle to move on. It wasn't she's broken hearted and devastated and can't understand what's going on. She will, it simply said she will struggle to move on. It's, uh, it's telling you what you need to know, but in quite an understated way and in quite an unemotional way. Um, so I think that this is what's going to happen with the book with the Two of Pentacles there for her. She is going to have to really spend her effort and her energy on keeping Prince Charles balanced and in harmony. Probably that the Two of Pentacles is meaning that most of her effort is going to be going into balancing and, uh, her own relationship with her own partner and keeping him happy and stable and propping him up and supporting him. And uh, 
she is already the victim here. She's already the one dangling. She's already the one being sacrificed. So for her, the work is going to be just keeping things on an even keel when the you know what hits the fan. So interesting. Uh, now specifically, let's look at in this reading how she feels about Prince Harry right now. Camilla towards Prince Harry. There is the pain. There is the pain. Uh, so it's definitely the Two of Cups is about him. And uh, there is the Five of Cups. She is, she really is very, very, very sad about the way things have turned out. Very hurt, very regretful, very sorrowful. I think she worked hard at that relationship to try and make it work in the past, did her best. And it has ended in tears with the Five of Cups. The Bosch Tarot doesn't really depict the right away to energy. So if you don't really know what the Five of Cups means, you would struggle with that card to know what it means. But it's just really the card of sorrow and grief, grieving over what has been lost in the Five of Cups, not really being able to focus on what you still have in your life because you are so consumed by what you have lost and what you have lost in an emotional sense, the hurt, the anguish, the regret, all of that. So that's how she feels about Prince Harry. Very, very difficult energy. And you can see why she may not be able to move on from what he has done to her and to his father. How does she feel about Meghan Markle? Six of Cups. How strange that is. Six of Cups, because the Six of Cups is quite happy memories, is family, is the past, is childhood, is looking back and looking back quite fondly at a situation. Prince Harry is the one that she's devastated over. Meghan Markle, it's almost as if Meghan Markle uh, is, is way back in the past because the Six of Cups is the past. Uh, that she almost doesn't doesn't bother with her anymore. There are memories, there are parts of that situation that weren't all bad with Meghan Markle, but it is in the past now. Uh, that's that's how I see that card, uh, because their relationship doesn't stretch back into the mists of time, which is the Six of Cups. It's not about old friends. Um, but possibly she looks at Meghan Markle and thinks of the past and how the past was. Uh, she's reminded of the past, but it's not the past with Meghan Markle. It's the past without Meghan Markle. And uh, so a curious card to show up in that position. And uh, let's just pull them down so we can see Camilla's hopes and fears, the Duchess of Cornwall, hopes and fears right now, Prince, Prince Harry. And that's the Ace of Swords. Um, she wants clarity. She wants decisions made. She wants to know where she stands. She wants the truth to come out because the Ace of Swords is all about the truth. Um, she wants people to start making wise decisions about Harry and Meghan, to start um, dealing with them in a way that's more clear and more focused. Um, she hopes that that is what's going to happen. She hopes that uh, the truth comes out, that possibly Prince Harry sees the light, that possibly the public um, see clearly what is going on with Harry and Meghan, uh, particularly when that book comes out, and uh, that people will be able to think for themselves and see for themselves and know the truth of the situation without her having to keep going to the press and dropping comments like this allegedly, let's put in allegedly there, sources close to Camilla or a source close to Camilla says so she's hoping for the truth to come out really and for things to just become much clearer and much more organized and settled and we can see that with the underlying energy of the king of pentacles and the outcome for this relationship between Camilla and particularly Prince Harry but Harry and Meghan how will the relationship go uh, the long haul of the relationship and uh, it's going to be very blocked it's going to be um, and no speaks. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Eight of Wands is all about communication. It is the communication card in the tarot. Um, unblocking situations, swift movement, swift communication, emails, telephone calls, all that kind of stuff if people still use telephones. Uh, um, but it is in the reverse. And so it looks like if an uh, incoming phone call from Prince Harry, she's not going to answer, she's not going to take it. It looks as if she really is realizing she has to let go of this relationship. She has to let grow, go of this past association with the Six of Cups. And she has to protect herself, protect her energy, protect Prince Charles, protect their relationship, protect their reputation, and uh, really not 
get involved in Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and their dramas, which were there in the past, the Five of Wands, all those dramas. And she is just going to block them. She is going to distance herself from them. A lot of silence, a lot of just no, thank you. You have done too much damage. I'm just not ready to speak to you. I'm not willing to speak to you. And that is the long-term future uh, in this reading. I specifically asked that. So uh, tricky, very tricky times ahead for that relationship. And it looks like Camilla really is tired of being the victim and it, tired of being sacrificed. Very focused now on her future with Prince Charles and uh, not going to be talking to Harry and Meghan anytime soon. That's the reading. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.